Good afternoon everyone. I am Justin Shaila T. Amparado from Group 1. So today, we are going to tackle about the following lessons. First is human development from infancy to adulthood. Second is physical attractiveness of the person. Third are the things that makes women and men physically attractive. Fourth is body, image, and self-esteem. And lastly, tips on how you will improve your body image. So let's start now. Module 3, Physical Self. The following are the topic content of this presentation. First is physical development. Next is physical attractiveness. So, human development from infancy to adulthood. So, bago tayo pumunta sa physical development, alamin muna natin yung age stages ng human development para malaman natin kung paano tayo nag-grow, nag-develop, or magnagkaroon ng differences at nag-change throughout the years. So, yung number one is infancy or trust versus mistrust. So, infancy learn to trust their caregivers when they respond to their needs. For example, nagbubutom ang bata, umiyak, binigyan mo siya ng gatas. So, the infants will recognize you, will rely on you, and will trust you eventually. Samantala, kung umiyak ang bata at hindi mo binigyan ng gatas, lalaki ito na mahirap magtiwala. Number two, toddlerhood or independence versus dependence. 18 months to 3 years old. So, halimbawa, nag-aaral maglakad ang bata at hinayaan mo siyang maglakad mag-isa dahil alam mo naman na kaya niya. So, tinuturuan mo ang bata maging independent. Samantala, Hinawakan mo ang kamay ng bata habang nag-aaral siyang maglakad at alam mo naman na kaya niya. Tinuturuan mo ang bata na umasa sa iyo at maging dependent hanggang sa paglaki niya. Number 3, preschool years or initiative versus guilt, 3 to 6 years old. So, dito na nagsisimulang maging confident ang mga bata sa sarili nila. They learn to be assertive and speak up for themselves. So, may mga batang hihiyak or umiiyak kapag inaagawan sila ng kalaro nila ng laruan. Pero kapag tinanggap nila ito ng maluwag sa loob nila, that is initiative because they initiate things independently and that is positive. Pero kung nagigilty sila, nahihiya silang magiging assertive at nahihiya silang magsalita para sa sarili nila, lalaki silang mahihain at walang inik. Number four, early childhood years or industry versus inferiority, 6 to 12 years old. Dito na nagsisimula yung pagkukumpara niya sa mga kaklase at kaibigan niya. Halimbawa, nakakuha siya ng mas mababang marka kumpara sa mga kaklase niya, pero masaya siya. And that is industry because he learn or she learn to appreciate and believe to their own hard work. Samantala, kung paulit-ulit itong nangyayari at paulit-ulit niya rin kinukumpara yung sarili niya sa iba, it can lead to inferiority or pagbaba ng tingin niya sa sarili niya. Number five, adolescence or identity versus role confusion, 12 to 18 years old. So, role confusion, ito yung parang, I don't know what I want to be when I grow up, who am I? So, sila yung mga tao at mga adolescents na hindi nila alam kung saan ba talaga sila nababagay at kung ano ba talaga yung gusto nila. Kasi, nakadepende sila sa pamilya nila at sa mga kaibigan nila. Samantala, yung mga adolescents na alam na alam kung saan ba talaga sila nababagay at kung ano ba talaga yung identity nila. Sila yung lumalaking may stronger goals, self-experience, and self-knowledge kumpara sa mga adolescents under influences or mga na-opluensyahan lang ng pamilya. Number six, young adulthood or intimacy based versus isolation, 18 to 40 years old. Halimbawa, if you maintain your college friendship in college, of course, uh, you can develop the strong intimacy. While for those people who didn't maintain their strong relationship or other friendship can lead to isolation. Stage 7, Middle Adulthood, Generativity versus Stagnation, 40 to 65 years old. So, dito na nagkakaroon ng struggle kapag iniisip mo kung ano ba ang silbi mo or contribution mo sa society. Kung may maganda at stable na future ka na ba dahil may kanya-kanya tayong tinataguyod na karir at pamilya. So, generativity, kung alam mo sa sarili mo na may maiiwan kang magandang kinabukasan para sa sarili at pamilya mo. While on the other hand, stagnation, ang mga taong working at a risk job will feel sad and meaningless. Stage 8, integrity and despair, 
late adulthood, 40 to 65 years old. So, it's like a reflection and look back to their past lives. So, where adult who who felt fulfilled and happy will die at peace dahil alam nila sa sarili nila na marami silang ginawang masaya at maganda noong kabataan nila. Habang yung mga adult na pakiramdam nila they don't live a good life will experience risk and die in despair. Physical development, dahil alam naman natin na marami talagang naganap na pagbabago sa ating katawan. Nagsimula lang tayo sa infancy at naging ganito na tayo sa kung ano man tayo ngayon. So, maraming changes sa ating uh, uh, height, weight, and body composition during our puberty and adolescence. So, ang mga babae usually nagigin ng 7 to 25 kilo during their puberty at pansamantalang humihinto kapag sila ay nagkaroon na ng first menstruation at tutuloy-tuloy ulit kapag sila ay tumungtong na sa adolescence age. Samantalang, ang mga lalaki ay nagigin ng 7 to 30 kilo sa kanilang puberty age at yung 25% ng kanilang taas or tangkad ay nanggagaling rin sa Puberty, sa kanilang puberty age. There are two factors affecting the physical development. Number one is primary sex characteristic. So, it is present at birth. So, lahat naman tayo meron nito. Females have their ovaries, males have their testes. And then, nocturnal emission or ejaculation for men and menarche or first menstrual cycle for female that is ready for reproduction. Secondary sex characteristics is the non-reproductive traits and these are the features that appears during puberty. Some examples given are, for boys, their body becomes more muscular while in girls, the enlargement of breast. Next, sa boys, nagkakaroon sila ng hair sa abdomen and sa chest, while both boys and girls, nagkakaroon sila ng hair sa underarm and sa private part. Next, for boys, greater mass of thigh muscles in front of the femur, while in girls, greater development of thigh muscle at the back of the femur. Next, Sa boys, mas nag-grow yung shoulder nila kaysa sa hips, kabalik ka sa girls, mas nag-grow yung hips sa girls kaysa sa shoulder. Next, sa boys, enlargement of larynx, nagkakaroon sila ng Adam's apple na nagiging reason kung bakit nagiging deep yung voice nila, while in girls, yung voice nila nagiging melodious. Next, the enlargement of chest and lower body fats for boys, while in girls, nagkakaroon sila ng shape sa waist and fats deposit in buttocks, thighs, and... So, let's proceed to another topic. Physical attractiveness. Physical attractiveness is about the level of outside appearance of a person that could lead to sexual attraction. Yung sexual attraction, it pertains on how you desire a person based on how they look. For example, um, their sexiness and how they dress, their moves, etc. Although having a recessive traits or inside characteristics such as intelligence, thoughtfulness, and sense of humor would contribute more to their physical attractiveness. So let's start. So here are the most attractive features para sa mga across cultures. First is symmetry. Sa across cultures, women are more attracted sa mga lalaking may symmetrical face. Yung symmetrical face kasi, ito yung ideal face shape ng karamihan sa mga tao. Ito yung balance, yung shape ng left and right face mo. And if you will draw a line here, you would know if your face is symmetrical. And also, nakaka-attract din sa mga babae kapag yung lalaki, kahit na yung adult na sila, basta they look young, na-attract pa rin sila sa mga ganun. Second is waist to hip ratio. Yung mga lalaki, na-attract sila sa mga waist ng mga babae kapag small and wider hips. Pangatlo ay weight. Both men and women attract kapag, kapag yung weight ng tao ay normal. Fourth is height. Yung mga babae, karamihan sa mga babae, na-attract sila kapag yung lalaki mas matangkan sa kanila. Five is facial features. Yung mga lalaki, mas gusto nila yung ano, yung feature ng mukha ng babae is girly. Tsaka yung ano naman, yung mga babae naman, mas prefer nila na yung lalaki Mukhang manly, masculine, ganun. Number six, body build. In general, yung mga babae, na-attract sila kapag yung lalaki, ano, may, bro may broad shoulders, narrow hips, tsaka may abs. Kasi, syempre, unang tingin na palang makikita mo na agad, ay may healthy lifestyle to, healthy to. Healthy, kaya, kaya, kaya may ganun pangangatawan. Number seven is body scent. Syempre, parehas. Man and female gusto at na-attract sa mga sa mga walang amoy, sa natural yung amoy yun ng isang tao. Number 8 is fit size. Yung mga lalaki, na-attract sila kapag maliit yung 
size ng paa ng babae, syempre. <laughs> Tapos, number nine is the hair. Yung mga lalaki, na-attract sila sa bawok ng babae. Ganon. Sa mga, ano, bawok na babae, lalo na kapag long hair yung babae. And lastly, the body movement. Yung ano, yung mga babae, attractive sila kapag kapag gumagalaw sila, kapag sinisway nila yung hips nila, kapag parang medyo may pakending moves. Yung mga lalaki, nakaka-attract sila. More, mas nakaka-attract sila kapag kapag kumilos sila ng mabilis. Yung saktong kilos lang, pero ano, pero firm, gano'n. Physical, physical attractive. Ano ang makikita ng physical ng isang babae? So, stay shape, healthy, physical, fit body, with healthy and high, and healthy health, healthy food to maintain. Huwag kapabayaan na iyong kalusugan upang magkaroon ng physical, fit na pagkakatawan. Maintain good hygiene. Sa natinihin ng iyong malinis ang iyong katawan. Get an upskip. Kumuha na sapat na tulog. Always mind. Develop right attitude. Contemplating a sense of humor. So, dito naman tayo. Dito naman tayo gumakasa. What's making man's physical attractive? Ano ang makikita sa isang nalangan ng physical? So, number one, yung enough skill. So, sapat na tulog. Minsan kasi sa ibang nalangan, nawala mo yung tulog. Kaya, kailangan mo sa kapat sa tulog. Yung clean haircut. So, sa ibang kasi nalangan, minsan mahalo yung dinit. Ganun. Yung sa parang ang pangantin yun. Kaya, minsan, kaya, kaya panunutin mo na malinis ang buhok na haircut. Kasi minsan, pero yung ibang lalaki naman na yung ano, gusto nila malinis yung gupit ay ano yung buhok nila. Kaya minsan, kailangan patunutin mo na malinis yung yung buhok. Keep your skin clean. Pati panunutin mo na malinis ang iyong balat. Yes, ako kailangan siya. Confident. Be yourself. Maintain good posture. Maintain good hygiene. So, yun po yung kailangan, diba? Kailangan, pangat hindi natin yung yung kalinisan natin sa katawan. Kasi ang pangat naman yung um, hindi siya. Ano, may isa kasi, yung parang ang baka, parang siya ito nakakaya naman kung kasabi kasi yung ibang tao, yung sabi yung lalaki ng tao, ang baka, yung parang um, may amoy ka gano'n, or kung ano man, siya ito nakakaya naman yun. Kaya, kaya kailangan natin, pananatigin natin na yung hygiene natin na kalimit yung malinis yung katawan natin para hindi naman tayo masyado hindi tayo nagkasakit Body image is the person's perception towards her physical self There are four aspects of body image First is the way you see yourself Perceptual The way you see yourself is not always correct For example, some people see themselves as fat but the truth is they are underweight Second, the way you feel about the way you look Affected There are things that a person may like or dislike about the way they look. For example, the feelings you have towards your body, the amount of satisfaction and dissatisfaction about your appearance, weight, shape of your body, or some parts of your body. Third, the thoughts and beliefs you feel about your body. Cognitive. Some people believe that they feel better if they are thinner, while some believe that they will look better if they develop more muscles. Last aspect is the things you do in relation to the way you look. Behavioral. For example, when a person didn't feel satisfied about his or her body shape, they intend to do something in order to change it or to improve it. Next, self-esteem. is an individual subjective evaluation of their own worth. In other words, it is how much you appreciate and like yourself. There are three types of self-esteem. First, the inflated self-esteem. People with inflated self-esteem think that they are better than others and they don't have no doubts in underestimating everyone else. Second, high self-esteem. People with high self-esteem accept and value themselves. Known to be positive because it makes a person satisfied with their, with their self. While last is low self-esteem. People who have low self-esteem do not value themselves. They do not trust in their possibilities and capabilities. And they are also prone to insecurity. Tips for improving body image. Some people think... They need to change how they look to feel good about themselves. But all you need to do is to change the way you see your body and how you think about yourself. Here are some tips on doing that. First is recognize that your body is your own, no matter what shape or size it comes in. Try to focus on how strong and healthy your body is and the things it can do, not what's wrong with it or what you feel you want to change about it. 
If you are worried about your weight or size, check it. Check it with your doctor to verify that things are okay. But it's no one's business that your own what your body is like. Ultimately, you have to be happy with yourself. Number two is identify which aspect of your appearance you can realistically change and which you can't. Humans, by definition, are imperfect. It's what makes each of us unique and original. Everyone has things that they can't change and need to accept like their height for example or their shoe size third is if there are things about yourself that you want to change and can do this by making goals for yourself for example if you want to get fit make a plan to exercise every day and eat healthy then keep track of your progress until you reach your goal meeting a challenge you set for yourself is a great way to boost self-esteem. Fourth is, when you hear negative comments coming from within, tell yourself to stop. Appreciate that each every person is more than just how he or she looks on any given day. We are complex and constantly changing. Try to focus on what's unique and interesting about yourself. Last is, try building your self-esteem by giving yourself three compliments every day. While you are at it, every evening, let's three things in your day that really give you pleasure. It can be anything from the way the sun felt on your face, the sound of your favorite band, or the way someone laughed at your jokes. By focusing on the good things you do and positive aspect of your life, you can change how you feel about yourself. And I think that's all for our report for today. Thank you for listening. Thank you so much for listening. We hope that you all gain knowledge from our lesson. Thank you!